it was a let go. It was an escape, man. It was escape. I, I, I always looked to see who was the best around, and I wanted to come and take them out. You know, mm-hmm. and I just didn't stop in Chicago. I wanted to go all over the world. Killer, killer, b- 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 podcast. Killer, killer, official com. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the app store for free today. Beatbox created. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Killer Keller Podcast. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. You can check out the Keller Vision app right now for you download on Android and iPhone. Oh my gosh, we're doing it live again. We're going across the pond. We're doing it proper. We are going into the realms, people. I see you Into the world of the battles. You are L. Don't flop. You name it. King of Dot. This is this. We are getting into some serious legacy holding right now. Mm-hmm. The man, he goes by the name. South side of Chicago's very yes. own. 30 million streams and God knows how many tracks he's pulling out the bag. Big T inside the place. What's good, my brother? Yes, sir. Big T, Mr. Chalaka Boo. You know, UK love to call me Mr. Boo Blocker. Mr. Boo Blocker. Boo Blocker. Boo Blocker. I miss it out there. I love it, man. I love it. Big Tuna as well. That's another one, isn't it? Big Tuna. Tuna. Yeah, <laughs> What's the deal man. with Big Tuna? Where did that come about? Oh, man. Big Tuna is a, is, is a, is a story, man. Of um, I remember one time <laughs> I was out in um, Queens, right? Um, you know, I was actually about to get up with Hollow, but I was kicking with one of his boys. And then um, it was an old guy. He was fascinated with the mob. And I was like, he was like, where you from? I say Chicago. He yeah. say, oh, so I'm thinking he about to say Al Capone. He say, you heard of Big Tuna? I say, Tuna. I say, who's Big Tuna? He say, he break him down to me. He was one of the mobsters in Chicago that, you know, was under the ratings, but was as powerful as Al Capone, but never got caught. You know what I mean? Never was, you know, just one of the most serious, as cool as, that you wouldn't even know he was tied in like that. And he was known for fishing, Big Tuna. Me, I'm That's more of a swimmer. And you'll know more into it once you've listened to my music. You'll see why I took on that personality. I love the fact that there's a narrative to every every story. I think there's a not a, there's a lot of thought that goes into you guys. You you yeah. have MC you battle MCs particularly. I feel like you got you um you create your own narrative. And yeah. I think it it comes out like uh as crass as it might sound, you know, like wrestlers, they have their yeah. they have their personas and they build up on them. And this this it's almost like a, 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 a an urban legend, almost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. It, it, it becomes, and, and then you know, I like I like the names to become natural, like Big T, Boo Blah, like, like you know what I mean. These yeah. is all names that kind of like I fell upon, like you yeah. know, through life. So, you know, I might have another name in a year or two. You know what I'm saying? But as long as I'm still moving. Telling you, there's there's mythology to you, bro. Like, for those of you who don't know, Big T, he was one of the formidable early adoptees of the URL. Battle World, full stop. I was actually the first battle on the URL ever. Which is insane to think about because it's become such a huge international yeah, thing. It's almost yeah. like it's always been there. You know what I mean? Yeah. To me, I to me, I don't realize it because I kind of just was battling and not expecting it. But it's kind of an honor in itself to be the first one. Like first you know what I mean? One, bro. Like, you know, just just to lead off like the night I was. I was a rookie. Did nobody know me? I'm from Chicago at this time. They they seen me on the Lions then. But it was kind of like around that time, all they looked at us was like kind of for fast speed rapping, like Twister. You, I yeah. know you're familiar with Twister. Of course, yeah. You know, Chicago, Crucial Convict, that's all we was on. So it wasn't really no lyrical punchline metaphor type guys mm. that really came from that city until mm. they kind of seen me on battling. And so I kind of like blindsided a lot of people. That's interesting because I forget about Twister because he's Chicago, ain't he? Yeah, he's Chicago, man. He yeah. put it on for us, man. He did a lot. Like, so you know what I mean? I always, I, I'm actually recording at a Twister studio not too long ago, man. I see the guy, you always show me love. And one thing mm. I found out, Twister was a battle rapper first. I did, did, didn't have a, I, I didn't have a doubt. 
Honestly, the way he attacks the mic. Yeah. No, mm. I didn't know, but man, he was just telling me like, yo, Big T, I used to battle around the city of Chicago. I'm like, bro, I didn't know. You know what I mean? I ain't know it went back that far, mm. you know? So Chicago always was an untapped market, you mm. know? It was dangerous, so people wouldn't touch it. Yeah. But the talent was there. <laughs> and also the musicalities that I remember playing there. I did a couple of gigs. What is the big, um, what's the big main um venue in chicago it was it was almost like an, uh, a theater like um, a mr united center it's a couple we got a lot of venues yeah i'm pretty sure you do yeah. so um we got um um house of blues united center um airy crown theater i think it's a um, united center man i think yeah, it was united, united center, center is the one that's the big yeah. one that's the, that's, that's the one that's what michael jordan played at. right okay so i played there with um a drum and bass um, it was a drum bass event, and oh, that's I dope. Swear, oh, bro! I swear to God, for 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 America, that doesn't often, you know, it rave music, drum and bass, jungle music doesn't often connect. Chicago had it. Every time we saw Chicago on the lineup, we're like, "Yeah, we're going to Chicago because it's popping." Yeah, it's, you know, because Chicago got, real got like a real like house scene, like a real good dance scene. You know, yeah. So we, you know, we 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 very musically inclined. We kind of like stuff with a good feel you know so i can yeah. see that working especially if y'all was at the united center man that's that's crazy yeah yeah i mean these these things with with chicago especially you know there's obviously there's common there's id and doug infinite they were another big staple around there back in like the mid idea yeah idea id doug, doug infinite. ID? yeah back in the day you kind of came through. Common Kane kind of came through with that gate. That, that that was that. it around. Was it around like the? How long ago was this? Ninety three, ninety four. Back. Oh yeah, that's 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 a little past my time. I'm just yeah. picking up the mic around that time. So how yeah. how old are you, brother? What's what's uh, what's your age? I'm thirty four. I'm clearly showing my age. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thirty four, man. I'm old. I'm an old guy. I'm nah, old. you're not, man. I'm telling nah. you, like. How did it all begin? How did it begin? Because for the for the fans out there, particularly the URL fans, it's like again, this thing it 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 is it's just a, a, an organism. It's it's a, it's a it's its own world. But you never get really into the details of of mm -hmm. the, the individuals in it. So when did it begin with you, brother? All right, man. Like like as far as battle and period of battle. No, it's earlier than that. Earlier than that. What was your upbringing? What, how, how was South Side of Chicago back in the day? What was like, Man, yeah, Chicago, reality. Chicago, man. All right, man. Listen, Chicago was a city where you had to choose a side. You know what I mean? Like, but me, I I never did. You know what I mean? Like, I've always had my own, like, could y'all still see me? Yeah, I can still see you. All right. I always had my own, like, you know, way of thinking, my own vibe, but I always never been worried about other other niggas. So I always stood up for myself if that's what it, if if that mean anything and I got my respect in that field. So you I had to learn to become a man early in the streets. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that being said, before you can even do that, before they even let you rap, they got to respect you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Chicago is a, such a rough city. They're not even listening to you if they don't believe nothing you talking about. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you kind of had to go through something in order to even rhyme. But anyway, um, I, I always kind of like, you know, it was always like gang culture around my city. And I had to basically learn it for survival. You know, I had to know where I was going, um, mm -hmm. which neighborhood not to be in, you know, like mm -hmm. all type of stuff. You know, I had to run, run with a certain crew you, you feel me like it's just yeah. growing up but it, but battle rap i promise you it saved my life literally like mm -hmm. it, it, it was something like you know battle rap is nothing you get paid for you know what i'm saying yeah. like like back then but we what we bet it we gambled on it mm -hmm. and it was just all about um it was it was a let go it was an escape man it was escape i i, I always look to see who was the best around and i wanted to come and take them out you know, mm -hmm. and I just didn't stop in Chicago. I wanted to go all over the world. Mm -hmm. and, and just to backtrack back to where I was at, man. All right. So we, all right, my first battle ever. I didn't even know I was in a battle, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was shining in a cypher. 
I was actually in school and one of my boys was like, man, he heard me rap one day, but I was nervous to get actually rap at the lunch table. Like, man, nah, I don't rap for real, but I knew how to do it because it's some of talent I always kept to myself and put it away. But high school, I just let it out. It was kind of like, a, you know, and then as I'm letting it out, the, the people around me started kind of circling around the table. And then the guy, one of the guys started dissing me. Like, <laughs> you fat piece of da 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 I'm like. Oh, it's going down. I, yeah, I dissed him back. Oh, <laughs> he dissed me. Mm. I dissed him back. Oh, he dissed me. But now he beating me. Mm. I lose. Mm. But I liked it. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I didn't feel, i like, damn, I did all this on my first one. So I came back. So I, mm. I came back to that table the next day. Mm. And I killed the nigga. You see mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I dude. killed him. <laughs> yeah. I, and, and it never stopped from then. That hunger to always go at the best, it never stopped from then. And then it was a point where, all right, let's say now I battle a lot of people in Chicago. I'm mm. fast forwarding the story a little bit. Like I mm. went from block to block. And this is the time it's dangerous. Like I'm battling on other people's blocks, like mid battle, guns dropping. You see Boy. what I'm saying? Like yeah. they're going so great. Like, like, so this is the hostile environments I'm into. Mm. So it it's nothing for me to go to another city and battle somebody else. Cause I'm battling somebody in a room and we could we might could die. Mm, mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like people be like, it, it, is that real? Like, yo, we might could die here because mm. they don't like what we saying, and ain't nobody getting checked. You feel mm. what I'm saying? So I had to battle in those environments till one day I met Bizarre from D12. Woo. He was at a studio. Mm. Um, he was at a studio, one of our mutual friends' studios. And he said something. We, we came in there, me and my boy Prince Lord. At this time, we quiet money. We got us a little buzz around Chicago. Mm. And we remember Miles and X Factor from the Smack DVDs. Mm -hmm. And we came to Bazaar like, we want to battle Miles and X Factor. Bazaar looked at us like, who are y'all? Who have y'all battled? At that time, I didn't know what he meant. Because I'm like, I'm from Chicago. I battled everybody in Chicago. Yeah. I battled everybody. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been around the block. So I've got Three dollars. We, <laughs> Murder Mook, you got to battle these type of guys at this time. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So, mm. but to just to, um, you know, they was about to fly me in to get that battle. At that time, I realized I wasn't ready for them. Yeah. And like, you know, it was. it's a blessing that mm. it probably didn't work out like that for me. I probably would have had Miles and X Factor just killing me in. You know what I mean? Mm. That'd be all you know of Big T. But it didn't work out like that. Next, you know, bizarre. We we, we separate ways. A mm. year or so later, you know, he reaches back out like, yo, Big T, I got a battle coming up. I'm like, where's it going to be at? He's like, in Detroit. I'm like, no, about outside of Chicago. Mm. But I'm like, I'm looking back in Chicago, like, it ain't nothing but beef and all type of stuff going on back here. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. This is my, this was the way, this was the only glimpse of light I seen at the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. So I know I, exactly what you mean. I've, but I've, yeah, but you know what I mean. I feel you. You know where I'm coming from. Yeah. That's the only glimpse of light I seen. I went for it. Yeah, yeah. We went out there on the road to Detroit, and this time in Detroit, this ain't the Detroit where it was a fly zone. This was no fly zone Detroit. Trick, trick at his prime <gasps> when they was, you know, Young Bird just had the whole situation. Mm -hmm. You know, this was that mm -hmm. time. Damn. So we from Chicago. Mm -hmm. It's no love for us. <laughs> it's, it's already a problem. <laughs> it's already a beef. We we share the same 94. Mm. We, we, you know, we two major cities at this time. That's it's, right. We, we don't get along, pretty much. We went up there. You know, we went up there prepared for whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and Bazaar had us in a battle. He had me and my boy Prince Lord 
and Prince Lord battle Calico. This Talk is the first to me time about I'm... that feeling, bro. Talk to me about that feeling, being in a hostile place where you know it ain't, you know, it was hard enough in Chicago going from block to, from, you know, block, to block and area to area. Mm-hmm. Now, now you're mm-hmm. in your, you're, you're in, in the Dragon's Another Lake. hostile place, yeah. but I, I, unfamiliar territory. Yeah. It's a hostile environment mixed with unfamiliar territory. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. So we figuring these niggas out. We looking at these niggas with glasses on and we like, yo, what? Yo, they think they fly. My boy Mom like, yo, they think they fly in these glasses. You know how Detroit, they wear the buffs. They got yeah, these glasses well. called buffs with, mm. you know, white buff. It's, it's some fresh shit. I fuck with it too, but that's a long story. I'll let you talk to the trade press about that. But <laughs> we just, just Sam, just that's just had we had to be detailed. So when we twenty some deep and we from we not from there. That's that's automatically a um, red flag to them. So they yeah. looking at us. We looking at them. They like you know we know they strap. They know we strap. You oh, feel me? Sh- you feel me? It's one of those. And then next thing you know, here we get rough. My boy Prince Lord Mama say. We got 1500 on us. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, Detroit, we got 1500 This Calico now at this time. This young Calico, like, before he was the Calico uh, we know today, like, uh, this is when he was dead in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Million rock bottom nigga. Like, like it was crazy. Blackface out, his pops. He's still out. Bizarre right here. Uh, it was just a wild chaos. So they putting up their money next to you. Know, I remember Marv One. See, at this time, Marv One was just you know shout out to Marv One. He's at the champ he's fighting Marv for one. championship of the tournament. Salute to him. I'm uh, rooting for him. But for Marv real. One was like, nigga, that's a regal man. Y'all, y'all, y'all battling for cars. Like you see what I'm saying? We be battling for car money down here. You know. But anyway, the battle crazy. Went so, the battle went so crazy, man. Lord went. Calico went. Lord went, Calico went, and it was so crazy and so much tension. It was a fight about to break out. Mm-hmm. And we just, Bizarre was like, man, this is my event. We ain't going to fuck this shit up. These my people. These my people. Split the money. Really? Because it got so hot. That, and Bizarre did that. That's what made uh, me get way more respect for him. Because he mm-hmm. made sure he made sure his people was good in the mm-hmm. city where mm. it was hot, you know what I mean? So I respect that situation. Now I battle, my next battle come up. I go battle, and, and and this is the first time I ever write a battle down. Like I was running around Chicago freestyle battling people. Shit. What, so you would, right, see, so we'll get into this in a minute. Keep, keep the story okay, roll, because right. I need to get into that too. Yeah. So, so my first my, Chicago, I was going around freestyle. When people was writing, I was just freestyling on the spot, kind of like you know, like it, it was more relevant. So that's what got the attention of the crowd. That's the right. Cheer. So that's how I was able to beat a lot of people. It wasn't mm. no camera, so the playback. How was people gonna see if you was really saying a letter metaphor or anytime? Mm. But anyway, I say that to say this. Now I gotta write about it, so I have no structure. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. I never wrote a battle in my life. So, mm. punchline? What, what's a punch? You know what I mean? <laughs> what's an in I don't like. This, this I was stuff? writing shit down. Like, I don't like saying like after everything. Like, like this. Yeah, I would yeah, say, yeah, yeah. you would have thought instead of saying like. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course, I yes. switched it up. I was like, man, you would have thought, you would have thought we was, you would have thought we was scammed. Well, hold on, what I say? Um, <laughs> You would thought we was cable wire the way we ran yeah. through his whole crib. Like you say shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, yeah. I'd have ran through your whole crib like cable wire. It's yeah. not the same yeah. effect. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, you, it, it, that's just how I feel. And then it worked, man. Like, like even like the LeBron James, the remains of it. They loved mm-hmm. it that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. after that, that's what got me on. That got me to meet Miles. Then Miles brought me back out to Detroit. Young Miles. So now me and Mouse never battle. Now Mouse look at me like, yo, Chicago, Detroit connection. We mm. about to do this and we going to go back out there to smack. What's up? You see what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, yeah. So we get together, Chicago, Detroit. We throw this crazy Lions Den battle. It's my first time being introduced to the internet while I got mm. on Worldstar. Um, we did the Lions Den battle. 
Loaded Lux got up with Young Miles. This is when I battled some dude named H.I. Croft at the time. Mm. And I kill him. Like, I, I beat H.I. Croft like crazy. Like, I, I, I can't explain it. And that's when I started getting my little buzz on World Star and people start wanting to battle me and shit like that, you know? Mm. World Star, and, World Star really is the entry point for a lot of people to to discover new shit. Yeah, yeah. Real. Then now, not so much. Not so much. Now, now it's time. like um parody, jokey, jokey. But back then, you could get broke off World Star. Like, That's like you right. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like somebody could see on World Star. Now I'm a fan. Like I, I got people that see me freestyle on World Star, and now they still follow me to this day. Yeah, yeah. The loyalty factor back then with a new with a platform like that, hundred percent. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm. But yeah, man. So um, that after that world star little, little battle I had, um, battle rap slowed down again for a little minute. I'm back in the Chicago life. Is life. I'm what the date just, on that? What, what was the date on that? T. Um, it was in the summer, man, and 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 that event was crazy. A story in itself. So mm. all right, <laughs> I got to you. You don't mind, do you? Your mom, man. All right. <laughs> So um so um we going now this is the big Chicago versus Detroit battle. If you look at our way ins, if that is even on World Star still, Calico is saying some of the most disrespectful shit about Chicago. Like oh, fuck shit. Chicago. Y'all some bitches. Da, 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 da. And we go back at Calico and them. And you know, at this time, World Star telling us, so we get messages on World Star, y'all come up here, we're gonna kill y'all. Oh, you see what I'm saying? At this time, you know, we like, yo, you know what I'm saying? It's getting real. But people trying to kill us at home. At least this is an opportunity to go to the next level. Mm. So I weighed my options and I went to Detroit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Uh You feel me? Uh So I'm gone. Boom. We go out there. We ride to Detroit. We right. load up. We like got to be at least 30 deep, man. About four, five, six cars. Oh, shit. Um, and then our GPS turns us into like the Canadian border. Oh, shit. You took the and wrong you left. You know what we got you on. took the wrong left, boy. We took the wrong left. <laughs> and the Canadian border... Man, oh, we shit. drove past the thing, man. We were so nervous in that van. Like, bro, if they pull us over this van, I never make it to battling. Mm-hmm. I never do nothing. I was about to chalk it up. I was about to say, look, I'm about to say, if if I, if I this gets stopped right now, this was like, to me and my brain, yeah. I still remember this moment. Like, like if this stop us right now, it's not meant for me to be. If I go on to the, that, oh. it's meant for me to do this. You know what I mean? And... Yeah. My boy, rest. He was about to um throw the gun in between the um the um between the car and the mm. and the, and mm-hmm. the panel. That, 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 yeah, but, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, but it's an X-ray thing right here. So we was like, no, don't do it. He didn't do it. He kept it on him, and thank God that saved us. So when they snapped the picture, nothing's there. We get right through. Now here we come from Chicago. Now we got. Now That's- we got a battle. We Go. already just did that. <sighs> now, now, now I gotta practice and remember my rhymes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, go yeah. on stage and perform for this shit. And That's crazy. The same guys that been threatening me on the internet, I got a battle in front of them with no fear. You feel me? Shit, so bro. here we go. We do it. It turns out good, and then you are real. Get born. I get a call from Norbs. Mm-hmm. He say, I want you to battle Hollow to Don. This was the big, this was the big one. No, no, no. You got to think about this. This, this is a pre. I was oh, okay. to battle Hollow to Don, my first battle ever. But Hollow backed out on me the last minute. Oh, like, shit. So this was early? Okay. Yes, it's the first okay. ba- URL battle ever. Because Hollow was like, URL is new. Mm-hmm. Um, URL is new. Um... Hold on, see, URL is new, and I was I was too new for him at this time, which mm-hmm. I respect now, but it, then I didn't respect it because, bro, we wrote, you you agree, we wrote, and that's the last minute, and you backing out on me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, nor say, hey, Big T, um, you can either back, you can wait for him, or you could battle somebody else coming up. 
And I'm like this, you got one shot. Do not miss your chance. Mm. You feel me? Not, my, Give me Deacon Frost. Let me battle Deacon Frost. So I battled Deacon Frost. And then after that, it been history. It's who else was who else was around at that time with URL mm. being so early? You so, hold on. me, um, Cortez, X Factor, Young Mouse, um, me, Cortez, Young Fat, X Factor, Young Miles, Math Hoffa, Rich Dollars, and T Rex. Mm. Hold on, seven. So that means it's one more battle to make eight. If Deacon, Deacon Frost, yeah, that's the eighth battle. So, that, so it was four battles yeah. that night. Not to mention the same night, it was like a grind time battle with Head Ice versus um, Quest McCody. So that same mm. exact day, New York had a lot of battles going on. Like, yeah, I seen everybody that day for the first time. Murder Mook is seated. Ooh. Arsenal. This is like yeah. my first time ever, like being around the other battlers that's in my class now. That was like, mm. you know, it was like I just got in there, like the last of the class. Like, I, yeah, I just made it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and you know what's you know what's poetic about it all is that the the trials and tribulations that let the story the backstory right here that led to this point it reads like a book like all the classic symptoms that make a person want to go that extra mile to establish themselves and be successful that tenacity that that, that desire and all the risky roads that you know go around Blocks in Chicago, knowing full well that you could get killed by the words you say, that's mm -hmm. not a lot of people can build up their armor like that, you know. Right. Or, or if they do, they don't. Y the attack that you had at that time, now I'm starting to understand. I'm like, yo, you went through so much heavy shit to 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 hone your craft. Crazy. Yeah, just to get there, just just to even like. So when they see me and they look at Big T, like this didn't come from nowhere, right? Nah. Like, this this is years of sacrificing and traveling and you know going without, you know what yeah. I mean. To get but one thing, I, one thing I do find interesting about, and I, I did stop you halfway through the conversation. I didn't mean to, um, so no effectively, but I do feel like yo, like if you were freestyling up to that point. I mean, I'm sure there were elements to it that you took to the URL and you took on, on you know, furthering mm -hmm. down the road of pre-written. But <clears throat> and I might add as well, there's so so much technical, mental uh, acquirement you need for, to, to deliver bars, even with pre-written. But with freestyle, like you say, it's a crowd a participational thing, isn't it? Like someone could be holding up a, I don't know, a red scarf and you're just like, talk about the red scarf. And then, yeah. you know, that, that, don't, don't you think that maybe some of those elements could have been applicable at the early URL that maybe could have influenced um, the whole thing. May, yeah. 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 That, that's the thing that I could think about, you know, f but freestyling around that time wasn't so popular, but it could have been popular. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was freestyling. I just didn't say I'm freestyling. You know what I mean? Like I, I never made it noticeable, you know, like mm -hmm. if, if I had a point where it was like, I, to get to another point, I freestyle this, add mm. that, but I didn't um trust it enough to go full fledged in, with it, which I should have trusted it enough, you know. But I was just also thinking like, yo, this is my let me put my best foot forward, and I felt my best foot forward was writing. You yeah, know? for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, uh, that there, there's definitely a couple of instances between you and also like the original guys, the 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 the, the legacy holders like yourself, where you you sense that they are because the relevance in what they're saying is so immediate and around them, but then they get into the pre-written and the rest is history. And I, I love the fact that what, what the pre-written allows people to do is script things with so many in words and, and arguably you guys have created your own language, bro. Like, Yeah. Yeah. It's almost <laughs> to the point like, man, like you, You'll be lost if you just jump into it right now. Like somebody, somebody will jump into it right now and be like, I don't like this. But yeah. if you really understood the history behind where it's at right now, you would get it. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? You you yeah, get yeah. it. Why is this? And you kind of accept why why it's like the way it is right now. You know, uh, you'll still be a fan of the climate of it today. Yeah, that's right. It's a bit like um, it's a bit like reggae music or hip hop itself. It's like sometimes if you st- the, the 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 cultural history is almost too too much for some people. It's it's like listening to a jazz record and you're like, hold on, hold on. Why? Uh, what? You know, because you're, you're late to the party. But if you really delve deep and, and get into it, you do find the um, uh, the, the papyrus of like, you know, the, the scriptures of how, you know, and what, where, where, right. where the story begins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I, I, and, I, and it's one thing about me, too. I want to kind of go back into the, the sounds like like jazz and stuff like that to kind of. Sure. Cause, cause, cause every time it comes on, it touches me, but I, mm. I'm so, I'm so young to what it is. I don't understand it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I feel that way. I feel that way with them. Um, with, with certain genres, it can be quite intimidating. You know what mm. I mean? You yeah. can get in, you can, you can be down with it, but I think it's a, a state of mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta put yourself into that position. Like, if it's jazz, you gotta be in that downstairs moody blues bar mm-hmm. where the smoke is and people are smoke cigars with their trilby hats. You need you to feel get like... it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's, it's like you understand the people that really love jazz. They live that jazz era. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like we okay. live in a hip hop era, so I really feel hip hop. Like I know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but the people that live that era, they really, like, they don't want nothing else but that. That's right. Mm. Chicago House, very similar as well. For sure. You know, for, for sure. sure. Um, yeah. Reggae, you've got, to be, you've got to put yourself into those places and that mindset. Mm-hmm. And it's, mm-hmm. it's easily achievable, but you've got to open. It takes a creative mind. Mm-hmm. When you turn around and say... <laughs> I'll split your head open with bunny ears. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like some people are just like, hang on a minute. Uh, but you have to you have to find the poetry within that. What right. defines that? You know, I'll leave your brain like checks mix. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've time, got to. <laughs> yeah, have his brains looking like checks mix. Yeah. Yeah. But for real, like over here in the UK, we don't have checks mix. But if oh, you, oh man. But here's the thing, here's the thing. I know checks because I've been to the States and shit. And, right. and also you can get them on import and stuff, but but it makes people want to go and find out what that thing is. Uh-huh. There's people out there that are completely like because emceeing um every bar holds relevance. And if you don't feel like you know what that relevance is, you're the one that ain't cool enough. You gotta go and right. find it. Right, exactly, exactly. That's why it's a lot of like a lot of bars when somebody be like, "Yo, that's weak," and I'll be like, "You, you probably didn't get it, but I don't let, I don't, I don't, um, I don't, um, uh, my bad. That's okay. You hear? Yeah, you're good. I don't um explain it to them. Mm. I let them figure it out themselves. Yeah. So when when if they find out, oh, I was being ignorant, they have to deal with that, and 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 in their brain that makes me bigger. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah. I let them figure it out. I'm not, I'm not, I'm never going to explain my punchlines to them. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I, dude. but one thing I will say, I never say nothing for nothing. Like mm. it's something in there. Like I'm going to connect something to something. If, even if you take my rhymes and then break them when one day when people have the time and wherever, 20 years from now, 10 years, when you break down my lyrics, you will see the actual genius of it. Yeah, for real. You know what I mean, like, like, damn, how did that rhyme and it don't rhyme? Like, I've learned from going to different cities now that, like, you know, different words. Like, now that I've been to the UK, I know I could twist some words in a way that UK people say it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 and yeah, now yeah. it rhymes for me. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. If that 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 that's just that's that that that's the beauty of um hip hop and this shit, man. Like, you know, it, it helps you. It, it can help you a long way, man. It, it, it could change your mind with this stuff, man. It's an expression form. It's no right way to rap. You know, yeah. it's no yeah. right way to do it. And your, your style, which I think is what you've brought early to the game was 
a, a, a cadence and a humor. Do you know what I mean? Like there's mm-hmm. yeah. humor to, to what you did. That, yeah, let's and you because because yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know we we it, it's it's a funny violence. Like you know, like so you just got smacked in the back of the head. You know, not 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 to say just that, but the the funniness is like you know the serious. It's a seriousness. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah. When you look somebody dead in the face and. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah. He, yo he tripping. And, <laughs> and, and that's what kind of makes it funny. And that's kind of something I like doing. Because mm-hmm. I'm funny because I'm serious. Like I say, grind time was something you used to have your nose chunky as Doug funny. And I'll be like, that's why grind time wasn't funny. Because that wasn't funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather laugh at the thought of a nigga trying to take something from me. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'd yeah, rather yeah. say that to you. Yeah, than, uh, yeah. um, but it's funny because it's serious. Like, like I'm, he, you know, uh, but that's what I, an example of what I mean by serious, funny type rhymes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's playing serious. Yeah. Essentially. And yeah. and you standing on stage, I mean, I think it... it I, it, it, it falls in line in classic, classic uh, theatrical, you know, your whole demeanor, your, your, the way you the strike, the strike in the eyes, man, alone. It's like, you're just like on them, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, um, mm-hmm. and, and towards at the start, the early battles, and this is the other thing I like about legacy holders like yourself that, that have such a journey. You could really see yourself. I mean, the case shine as an example, you know, you, by which time, URL was, was really kind of taking form and like the cameras were a lot more moving and right, all, right, the, right. all that business. But, but you, 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 it was like, you were screaming out there doing it. You were fucking, it was almost like you would, yeah. you, you would just, you were growing with them. It was like you, mm-hmm. performance and shit was just flames, man. Yeah. 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 Growing with that, growing with them, man. We, we grew together. You know what I mean? That's you know that's a league that I kind of got like a little attachment to because it's like we grew together. That was the y'all first actual whole battle show. I know it was Smack mm-hmm. DVD before yeah, yeah. URL. That's right. But where when y'all never had a whole event dedicated to battles before URL. Paper. You know what I'm shit. saying? Yeah. So Smack, this is a new thing. And I, you know, I just was around to see it grow from no stage to the main stage to the big stage to the um corporate stage. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, it went corp. What's your favorite league? What was your what's your favorite? Like uh, my favorite is um still you are real. It's, it's 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 my most competition. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's the it's it's my most competitive, and I like it because you know it, it's still when you do a battle on URL, the whole streets know. Well, yeah. then you know right now you know since the app is out, well they got caffeine now, so the people know now with caffeine. But when it was mm-hmm. just like app battles, you know people don't see me as much anymore now that yeah. they don't drop the battles on YouTube. Yeah, but um. URL is my favorite. Um, my second um gotta be kind of like King of the Dot. I yeah. like King of the Dot too. Um, third, don't flop. Oh, tight. D- don't flop, but don't flop like the UK. Let me talk about the UK. I love the UK. <laughs> and you know what's so funny about the UK? The UK loves me. Like mm-hmm. I'm, like, mm-hmm. I battle in the US. In the US, you gotta say I'm the bad guy in the US. Mm-hmm. Like, like. I go in the room, it's silent, like silent in a, we respect you, but we want you dead type way. <laughs> like when the Undertaker walks in the room or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but okay. they don't take pictures with me. They love me afterwards, but right now you're the Undertaker. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I yeah. understood that, but when in UK, we love you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's like, yo, I, I'm not used to this, this, um, this this treatment over here, y'all. You know what I'm saying, y'all got. And I love when I say some shit. Bo, 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 bo. Yeah, all day. You know what I'm saying? That's right up my alley. The gun sounds, you know. Yeah. So when they be doing that, I love it. You know. Yeah, man. Listen, <laughs> yeah. I, listen for real. Like, as you say about the the hip hop DNA and how you know it it transcends the US. It, it's worldwide. It's international. And there's a tapestry that's attached where you could probably sit in any city in Europe. Mm-hmm. You know, as, as yourself, and 
be accounted for, looked after, taken care. You know, you got homies there, you got friends that would, you exactly. know. Exactly. So the UK, particularly with Don't Flop, particularly with Don't Flop, uh, it, it gave it such, um, it amplified everything that you guys were doing and it made it a uh, quote unquote household. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. people know rap battling because of the, the no threat. Yeah. And, and also, you know. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you are real. Yeah, because cause at least like don't flop the UK people watch you are real too. Oh damn, you know? yeah. They watch yeah. King of the Dot too. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. But the thing uh, I also liked about UK, it was some people in the UK that um didn't care about US battles. And mm. it's, it's to a point I kind of liked it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, you gotta have that sense of pride for you for yourself. To a point, you know, because we like that with everybody else. You know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> like I, I mean, honestly, Jake, like we, we kind of be listening to our own shit. Right now, it's opening where we listening and more to like y'all stuff with the beats yeah. and all that stuff. Like, but, but, you know, but I kind of like that Don't Flop got their own crowd where, look, we only listen to UK mm. battles. You also, I mean, you. You you fuck with grime as well, don't you? Like you mm-hmm. real, like you're mm-hmm. a real fan of grime too. I went over there, man. I went over there, see, um, and I and, and they started putting me on shit like Section Boys. I started running and skeptic. Mm-hmm. And these guys was like, I don't know if anybody necessarily put me on, but I remember being like, okay. I'm going out here for the UK for the first time. First of all, if, if anybody know me, I think the reason why they started liking me because I started trolling the UK first before I even came out there. Like the some UK intel, like, trolling them. I'm like, oh man, like like what, what what what's over there? Amsterdam? Like like they, they oh, was laughing at me. I was thinking like, do you think Amsterdam is in um is in London? Like you know what I mean? So I'm just like basically saying I don't know what's over there. That's how I was treating it. Like oh you a fl- I, you I was embracing the American asshole um <laughs> the um stereotype. You know what I mean? But but right. Really yeah. I know what's going on. So of course. I'm, I'm getting and I'm learning the section boys. I'm hearing um Skepta. It ain't safe on the block. Not even for the cops. cops. It ain't safe for them. No, uh, 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 uh-huh. oh, uh, 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 I don't know the words <laughs> all the time, but I just know the bounce. You know, That's the right. The bounce is crazy. I, I Come can on. Do this. I'm like, oh, man. And then I'm playing this for a couple of my people, and they like it. So I'm like, this is good music. So with that being said, mm. I need to get in this, this genre a little bit mm. for people to know about it. But... Drake ass tapped into it already. He started yeah, he working with the section boy, the, the, um, gigs, Skepta, and um, Skepta, gigs. Yeah. Um, Bazaar got a song with gigs for real. Oh, Bazaar and gigs got a song. Ooh. I think I'm in that video too. Oh, stop it. Hold on, oh, hold on. Some, no, I think it, I know what you're talking about. Is is it gigs? Bazaar got a show mixed well with halitosis with eggs and toast. Comments now, below, people. Comments below. Comments yeah. below. Tell us what, what's good. What's good. For those of you just joining us, we're Big T inside the place. Holding it down. Come on, son. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, all those guys, man, I, I, I like it, man. And I, um, they need to stick with that shit, man. And, and I wish more would come over to the U.S., but, you know, we're going through Corona right now, so ain't nobody yeah. coming over. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 Lyrical, uh, the information that goes into a, into a, a battle rap bar. Do you think, do mm. you, like, we were talking about how the in words, the in jokes, the, the, mm. the terminology and the slang. Mm. Uh, do you, does that, is that reflected also on UK battle rappers? I mean, I know that might be an obvious question, but for somebody, for somebody that is, is American listening in, do you guys take certain elements of what, Battle rappers in the UK are saying within their bars, and you know, oh, like are we saying some is now UK influencing some yeah. US battles? Yeah, um, it's not a trick question either. <laughs> not a not a not a not a hundred percent. Well, I, I can't say that. Um, you know, this is an international thing, right? So different. The accents are so different. It's kind of hard to, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, no, but perhaps like, because. Rap. It's kind of hard to rap like a UK guy without being a UK guy. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, rap yeah, like yeah, yeah. shoddy horror. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of the, the blend that style. But Shotty, um, yeah. What did he Shotty, do that was so different, bro? Because like when man, I we liked him, we liked yes. Him. What we did Shotty, Shotty do? Shotty, 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 um, he was an asshole. <laughs> He was a Amer- he was a he's a battle rapper. He's a character. Yeah, you know he, he's yeah. he, he's a For character. Sure. We fuck y'all. I love okay, I love you. the We guy. don't like you, but all right, we kind of like you. We don't like you though, but yeah. we like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. like we we respect you. The fact that you stand, that you you know come in yeah. your own way. You tough. This is the north. We fuck yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Embrace yeah, yeah. the north. Yeah. <laughs> he said that I thought I was watching Games of Thrones. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, tight, right. shorty, right. It's the north. I said the north. <laughs> you know, what I think some of it is as well. I think like some of it is he breaks down. He's he really does pace what he says. Mm-hmm. You know, he's mm-hmm. he's really really all about the impact. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think for 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 the narrative of America, we understand I, what he says. Yeah. He's clearer. He's yeah. clearer. Right. We just understand him. Like he, he's more universal. See, yeah. some people might have a mistake like Tony D. He might be too UK. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So UK that US don't understand him. That's right. Like, I caught how nice Tony D was when I really What's went like to Tony? UK and I really was um, yeah. in the bits. You in feel bits. me? I had to go to the, bits. To get to the bits. South London, somewhere, yeah. eating Coca Cola sweets. Oh, you was in really <laughs> in the bits. Somewhere, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had like... to get the feel. But yeah. yeah, I was out there, man. You know, and um, you know, he 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 just a, a hood London. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OG you know, shit, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now until he able to trans into the world on our side, either understands him or he translated for us, then they probably would like him more. But other than that, right now, Shotty just is more universal than everybody. Mm. Gemini next. Say again. Gemini next. Gemini next. Gemini. Gemini yeah. We like Gemini too. Gemini hot. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell, tell me. Tell me what. What specifically about the Gemini you? was the one that was able to do the punching style as hard as Americans and also be lyrical UK. <laughs> but he also got this hood element about himself. That's kind of like street. Like, mm. hey man, he ain't no pussy. You feel me? So Ooh, okay. we, we we like that about um my man's um I battled him too. Gemini. Yeah. What's the uh because you know you've had shotgun show, uh mm-hmm. disaster, obviously we just spoke about K. But, you know, th- th- this goes on for Hollow the Don. Like you've battled like some of the greats. For sure. What's what's the feeling when you 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 get into the arena and I'm going to, I'm going to put you in the place. All right. So you're there. Yeah. You've got a whole back line of everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, you know, and there's animosities on certain levels. There's t- intensity yeah. on other levels and you've worked your bars throughout the whole of, you know, the period, the timeline, how are you going to do it? You've also got to consider what they're going to come at you with. Mm-hmm. Who's, who's the people's favorite? Whereabouts mm-hmm. in the world? you All that. All of this stuff, you know, you've got 10 minutes before you go on and you know you're going to be battling one of these guys. What's mm-hmm. going through your mind in those 10 minutes before? 10 minutes before is hell. I ain't gonna lie, man. The pressure they pay me for is the last, the day before. I'm telling you, for some reason, the 24 hours before I actually get on the stage, the, mm-hmm. the last 10 minutes, I'm probably good. Like mm-hmm. 10 minutes, I'm probably in a dog mode now. Okay, I'm in a gotcha. mode where it's like it's ready to fight. I'm ready to kill you because what are you listening to? What are you listening to in the backstage? What you what's going on in your head? What if there was a if there's a song that epitomized, what would you listen to get fucking aggressive on? What what what's the thing that you're doing? Mm. What's Me, the, first of all, yeah. I'm going somewhere away from everybody. I don't want to okay. talk to nobody. My friends that come to me be with a battle, they know. I'm the um you would think I'm an asshole them 24 hours, them 48 hours before the battle. Like, mm-hmm. like all like how I'm nice and cool right now. 48 hours for the battle, I'm nothing like this. Cause 
I know everything is on me. You know what I mean? Yeah. The lights is on me. If yeah. if anything fuck up, no matter what I did, I have no excuse. People want me to produce. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm very don't want to be distracted. I want to go over my lines. I'm looking at this person so much. I've said this shit a thousand times in my head. Yeah. I um said them in front of my people. I messed up probably 40 minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? Oh, On the third shit. round. Like, you know, yeah. like, but you know, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Like, damn, do I got the mm -hmm. second round locked in like that? Do I got the third round locked in like that? Oh shit. Ooh. It's first good though. Man, they might not like this second. They might not like this third, but they might love this third. Man, fuck that. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? This is this yeah. so funny. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck I do. Man, who is who is this? Man, he can't beat me. Man, man he been on the road. Yeah, he been kind of nice. He can't fuck with you. You know, this is what's going on in your brain. Like two heads. Like you've got, yeah. you've got monkeys on either side telling you this and telling you that in your head. Yeah. Yeah, he can't fuck with you. Man, he might be all right. He's going to be super prepared. Man, like, but the best way to go in the battle is lose all respect for the opponent. Like ground level, base level, on the floor. You're, who are, take this guy down for what he does. All right, what's his name? That means nothing. Mm. Who did he battle? Watch. What's his skill set? What does he got? He ain't that funny. He punch. He's not that lyrical. Mm. He's not entertaining. He usually only had two rounds. You know what I'm saying? You got to really... Do you coach that? Do you coach that in your head? Like, what the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had to teach myself that. That's, that's why I was able to always battle somebody with a bigger name and more fame than me at the time and beat them because mm. I took it away from them. Mm. And I just battle for face value. And you can't fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? That's just how yeah. I feel. And if I feel you can fuck with me, then you might fuck with me. Yeah. But as long as I'm battling, I just can't feel you can fuck with me. Yeah. And I see, this is the thing as well. Oh, actually, before we get into this bit, what I was going to say, just to follow on from what you were saying there, what happens from the flip side? So mm -hmm. you've, just, you've just body bagged a fucking bar and he went straight it was like an uppercut mm -hmm. and the crowd go spastic they fucking go mental they go yeah. crazy mm -hmm. and you're just like mid flow and that because you know that's what happens in these arenas like people mm -hmm. they take no prisoners the, the crowd are as vicious as the battlers the crowd is vicious you know what it kind of reminds me of back in the day battle rap is the, the safer version of like gladiator shit like gladiator <laughs> type oh. man no I feel <laughs> like a gladiator when I'm in that shit like Ooh. when it's real arena Ooh, ah, ah, we want blood yeah, oh, it's like that. That's how we, I feel when I'm down there. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like a war of words, but it, these people want blood. We want a body. Yeah, like, it's almost like if you're getting killed, the crowd is gonna kill you. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? For oh, real? now we're gonna kill you because you're getting killed. I think I also get excited when, and this is just <clears throat> my personal experience. Is like I've been into hip hop for a long time. And again, you know, it's it's built into me to, mm. to, to for these things to be quite technical. And then I'm like, yeah, oh, that was sick. Right. But even in the most, I'm still trying to catch up with your last bar. But then it's almost like the crowd, they were way ahead of you. And sometimes they even chant your bars back at you. Yeah. And I don't know, man, to be, a, yeah. to be present watching it is uh -huh. like... I've got to rewind. I'm gonna rewind that back a second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. They Crazy kind of with you, man, because they they, they would have liked the bar so much they kept it. You got to see a lot of a lot of people that watch this stuff is like rappers. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot of battle fans is in the crowd are people that actually rap. So you're so in the lion's den, bro. Type of, what's that? You're in the lion's den. Exactly, exactly. So they're judging you from a different perspective. Like, you got to impress me. Like, I'm a rapper myself. If I pay the ticket to see you, yeah, you got to rap real good. Yeah. Not just like me. You got to rap great. 
Yeah. Yeah. That shit's... And again, that just heightens the intensity of like, mm. yo. What's it um what's it like once you've won? And because I don't know, I think very much like gladiators, part of the art is to not be too bogged down with if you've won. It's almost like you live to fight another day, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quite a scary you thought, to fight, isn't but it? back back then it, it was too like right now is you live to fight another day. But I was at the gladiator time where you is do or die. Like yeah. you know, I'm I'm from an era where you one loss we don't want to yeah. ever see your face again. Oh shit! You see what I'm saying? Like right now yeah. it's different with YouTube. It's a little different. Now. It's kind of hard to think. How was it like that? But then we don't even want to see you if you lose. Mm. Mm. So. You had to have that um, barbaric attitude, that um, cutthroat mentality versus your opponent. I'm not even friends with nobody until I battle. Wow. So you don't even like, talk to them? You don't nothing. Like, everybody you see me with, like, other than probably T-Top, Calico, which is, you know, I didn't become cool with them until I battled them. You know wow. what I mean? Because everything is potential ammunition. They might yeah, 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 not yeah, yeah, yeah. say it. They might not say it. If you seen the movie Body that I was in, you will see it was one part that was kind of real, like how these people said, like, man, I'll never say that about you. But mm. when the battle came down to it, they did. He used it. <gasps> that's cause that's cause you you become a slave to the crowd. And yeah. you don't want to get embarrassed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so well, that's even so though real. people have a beat, pr- prepare to play it safe. If it's not going your way, the devil gonna come out. <laughs> so they will use it as ammo. Essentially, they will use whatever you're saying to them. So on the lead up, for instance, you could be boys with somebody, but if you know you're going into a battle, they will use that. Even if the crowd don't know what you're talking about, he's just trying to break you down. Yeah, just just to break break. Let me example: Charlie Clips. I battled Charlie Clips, even though Charlie Clips was before I battled him was um, we was cool, but we became friends, friends after I battled him. Right. But before, like you know, he was. I, I remember like yo going to. He went to a chicken restaurant, and he went and bought some chicken for me, and I was like, "Yeah, get it for me. I'll pay you back when you get here." During the battle, that's when he asked me for my money. Oh shit. no, sick. He's a sick man. Doing That's the battle. Fucked. That's he asked, up. yo, Big T, could I get that ten dollars from that chicken earlier? I say, <laughs> yo, what is <laughs> hey? It was luckily it was some dude hey. right here, like, nah, Big T, stay focused. Because yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, you right. I mean, it was, that was a blessing, but it was almost like. But that was a prime, that was just an example of it. Like, you know, it wasn't deep, but it was, you would see, like, even something that small yeah, would, would come back to the game. Like, yeah, but yeah, it's crazy, bro. That shit is, it's, it's amazingly fucked up. It's like. Amazingly fucked up, but funny as shit. Funny as shit. It's I mean, funny you know, in hindsight, but it's, it's yeah. fucked up. It's fucked up. And it's those sorts of things that draws appeal. So after your case shine, am I right in saying that 50 Cent labeled you his favorite rap battler? Mm-hmm. This is when he did it publicly. I've yeah. been new um, since the Hitman Holler battle. Right. When I battled Hitman. Right. But um, publicly is when he first, he, and he never co-signed no rapper no. before. Like, he didn't co-sign no rapper. So for him to co-sign a battle rapper, and me from Chicago, mm-hmm. it was like kind of like crazy. Because because yeah. I remember um, the people hit me up like, boy, 50 just did some interview about you, man. It's going to be crazy. Get ready. I'm like, what y'all talking about? I'm like, yeah, all right, all right. Oh, man. you know, yeah. then I seen it. I'm like, yo, that's some wild shit, man. You know, I, I many men, you know, wish death upon me. I, I, mm. I live that. I, I I remember being around <laughs> listening to listening to Fifty growing mm. up. So um, blew your mind, right? For him to for him to say that, 
Let me tell y'all one more story. When I first met him, oh, me and Bazaar from D12 was on this little tour run. You know, we was doing this um, Lace Blunts tour and we stopped in New York. And then he was like in the room. He was like in the, um, the studio, not a studio room, it's a mean room. This was where he played some of his music for me. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he came, he, he saw me through the um, window. And he was like, that's my motherfucking nigga right there. That's my nigga right there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, you know, <laughs> yeah, me? I love it. He like, uh, he like, he say, what the fuck am I fighting for? I got that Chilaka boo with me, boo boo with me. I'm like, this nigga Fifty Cent saying my raps. Oh my god, your head must have blown for it. <laughs> I walked in a room, Fifty saying my raps. You know what I you mean? You grew up with so, him all this time. You grew up with him all this time, re- re- reversing his rhymes. And all exactly. of a sudden, so man, after that man, you know, I, I he always show love. I always show love back, man. Every time I go to um New York, Fifty got something going on. I'm always welcome to it. He come through Chicago. He always lay out the red carpet. You know, New Year, not New Year's All Star Weekend in Chicago. He was flying mm-hmm. me bottles last year. You feel me? Oh, and I and I rock with him, man. He, he a good dude, man. He shared his platform. That's all I ask. You know, and, you know, you know I, I I can't be mad at nobody that shared their platform with me. That's right. Exactly. The, the the battle scene, and I can only see it from a beatbox point of view, and the, the times that I spent with the more, like you say, that the, yeah. the more the table sitters, the people yeah. that, that have, you know, they've 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 made good, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, they're uh, they're established. Mm-hmm. Uh, very similar to beatboxing, there's a there's a there's a place in a in a in an artist's not just not just rappers but artists' heart in hip hop when when they see battle rappers being really fucking it's almost like a training ground for them as artists they know exactly what goes into making battle rappers you you know they they know that they know the skill set they mm-hmm. and they admire that skill set mm-hmm. that harks back from an early hip hop era and. Mm-hmm. They can see how far the scenes come, and they see someone like yourself that is entrenched. You're in the trenches. You're you're mm. on the front line of where perhaps they arguably wish they were. Right, <laughs> you know? right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and yeah. like so it, it, that must be have been really rewarding for you for something personally as well as for the scene to have had someone. And like him, and also I think Drake's done it, done a, done the cosign thing. Yeah, the- Drake oh. definitely did. Drake, man, Drake. I, I, I've got so much respect for Drake because he's yeah. always been supportive with battle rap. For sure. And, and I always kind of diss Drake in my battles when he's around, but it's more of a love showing love. Like, um, you diss the best in the room. Like, like I don't mean yeah. as far as that. Like, if he's the hottest, considered the hottest hip hop artist and hottest rapper. Bat- yeah. As a battler, you're supposed to go with him. You yeah, know that's what I mean? right. You're yeah, supposed yeah. to. It's the game. It, yeah. it, it's it's hip hop. It's the culture. So I feel like mm. it'd be a disservice not to do it. But it's but to me, it's always all love with um, Drizzy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you, you pay the cost to be the boss, isn't that? For the- sure, for sure. Yeah, heavy head weighs the crown, man. Oh my god, yeah. And nothing, nothing that weighs true more than that. Those sentiments, because. Yeah, again, in those arenas, you know, you get started getting co-signed by people and, you know, like it's an it's an outsourced pressure, isn't it? It's not like it's not mm-hmm. like in the arena pressure or a sudden yeah. it's like <laughs> it's a whole nother pressure. So I got co-signed by 50 and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, um, uh, I feel like I got more hate from more hate coming. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, I haven't yeah. noticed the the hate that much, and I and it came a lot from the East Coast. I feel like I I don't know if it was because of the cosign or what it was, but it 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 turned me up. You know, it turned me up. Where it was more where people was more de- picking at what I did rather than just enjoying the art of Big T. Mm. But I think that comes with when you reach a high level of um success. Yeah. Does does that taint your impression of of the culture? Like when when you when all you're doing is being the best you, yeah, to put food on your table, to to embrace and respect the art, and and then 
you uh, there's a little bit of you that's like yo man ain't you happy for this aren't you happy for the scene aren't you happy for me like all the aren't you happy for the the opportunity that this gives to the scene it's right. a quite a, it's quite it's a tough one man isn't it yeah 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 it's a, it's a, it's a it's a tough one man mm-hmm. um Repeat the question. You said, "What?" what? Yes, I'm more musing. At, I'm musing actually at the, 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 the because I think anyone that's, that has had a, a, a trajectory like you've yeah. had can yeah. relate that when when you're given such a high acclaim like mm-hmm. that, you yeah. kind of you kind of think to yourself, "Oh man, like you know, this is it ain't like entirely all about you. It's about the scene and it's about the culture." Yeah, it's, for sure. And then it gets that gets stifled a little bit. Did it? Did it stifle you at all? Did it make you feel like um, what the fuck's this scene about? If, if I'm getting like that kind of level of like love, like, and you give me hate once you get this big, it kind yeah. of, it's like a crab in a bucket mentality, man. Like it, it is kind of like that with battle rap. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it's kind of like that, but um, gotta fight through it, man. Yeah. It, it, you know, like um, that comes with it. That 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 that's a leveling up, and that's a um. That's another a pressure that only comes with that that you succeed. It's a good and a bad thing for me. Yeah. Like now, I gotta work harder by actually living up to the standards that that I that they put on me. You know, so but yeah. but actually meeting those standards is makes it rewarding for me. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And he does come from a you know fifty cent and. Um, Drake do come from different ne- uh, neck of the woods, mm-hmm. you know. But so yeah. the trajectory and the 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 lily pad leap. Yeah. I mean, you had the total slaughter with Shady, right? Mm-hmm. The, there was these you would kind of establishing yourself as an artist as well. How does that translate? Uh, is, this is probably the age old biggest question for beatboxers as well. So I'm going to throw it your way as well. How do you translate that energy into record? How did you translate that? energy into a record oh um, when i was all right now i gotta go all the way back for one more time <laughs> i started battling and recording kind of the same time when i started battling i got a producer from chicago right now um i really don't know where he's at he, he <laughs> i really don't know where he at right now but he was a doctor he kind of put me on but the thing about it he never let me battle on a song he always taught me structure, like, oh. no, 16 bars, Big T. Okay. I need a hook right here. Mm. Too complicated. Make it simpler. You That's, know what I mean? Yeah. So I always had, like, a music savvy thing. And, in fact, me being from Chicago, more Midwest, where battling wasn't really prominent, battling yeah. was second. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that, that came, we did that on our spare time. Yeah, music was first. Music was always first. Yeah, battling just took off to the point where it became bigger than my music. You know what I mean? And I understand yeah. the fact that people in first impression they love how they love you. You know what I mean? Like we love you for this, so it's kind of now we are respect you since we love you for this so much. We'll listen to you for this, but we really love you for this. So stay in this, mm. but. We'll take this, but you got to stay hot here, which is cool for that. But now it's also fans that I want you to just listen just for this. You know what I mean? Like, yes. in the thing that I gave y'all I this battle so much, it's time for y'all to go back in because I do the same thing in my music. Not necessarily. I do lyrically. It's mm. the same thing in my music. And it's mm-hmm. on Pink's pattern. And I don't really want to kind of explain. I kind of want them to see. It. And as different and unique as I am on a battlefield, I'm the same way in music. Yeah. You know, I I, yeah. I kind of, I try not to stay in pocket too much, but I try to, you know, give people entertainment and give people my real life, like my struggle. I don't really complain about nothing. If you see me complaining, I'm probably going to be doing it in a rap. You know what yeah. I mean? That's yeah, my yeah. therapy. That's my, you know, why I could get off my energy of that type of shit on how I feel, even about the battle culture, you know, even if I, how I feel about growing up in Chicago, it's some things I went through that you probably would never hear me talk about in mm. words. Mm. Probably, some things you would never hear me talk about in words. Mm. So that's why I feel like they need to go listen to my music. I feel that. And it takes a lifetime to create a legacy. 
you know? Yeah, yeah. Like you you can't, I, I feel you 100%. Again, from the beatbox point of view, you know, what you see on stage is a persona and beatboxing as well. There, there is a, there's a human in that, but mm-hmm. when you try and put that on record, it's a very different uh, proposition. Right. At least with battle rap, there's, there's an environment for that. And then there's an environment for this. Um, mm-hmm. So I do feel that. But yeah, I also feel as well, though, that the audience in in the battle rap genre, they mm. the rappers when they put it, when it comes to putting out records, that's their audience for that as well. You know right. what I mean? It's it's mm. pretty crazy. It's, again, it's its own ecosystem, isn't it? Yeah, right. It's almost like man. It's almost like uh, <laughs> the battle rap that, that yeah that that's who listen to our music as well. Mm. The, um, the fans they listen to our music as well, but you know, like, but they love us more for battle. That's why I like coming on this show, talk about my battles, and and you know, also get them my music, where to go get it, and all that type of stuff. A thousand percent, a thousand mm-hmm. percent. So we got the quarantuna. <laughs> yeah, quarantuna, man. <laughs> I've been in this quarantine so long, I infuse with it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I've been do in the quarantine like, do you feel so like- long, I confuse with it. And, and let me tell you something else about this quarantuna thing. Was not just no, like it it, it happened because man, like doing the quarantine, it was so much bullshit going on. So I'm sitting in the basement. And I'm working on stuff, and people don't know when they're going to have the next thing. And I said, man, what else I got to do? What else I'm going to do? And mm-hmm. I said, I'm going to rap, man. All the verses that I had, I rapped every day freestyle. If you go on my Instagram page, you're going to see me put out a freestyle every day for the first 30 days. Like, like You like, hear that, everyone? Like, Get yourselves down on that Instagram. Instagram, what's it? Tell them, tell them the Instagram. T underscore tuna. If Come y'all on. see, maybe not the first 30 days active, but the first 20 days for sure. And then mm. maybe once every other day, I was dropping Fire. freestyle videos, just, just all just spitting bars, man. And then that's when I started getting verified on Instagram. People started <laughs> Watching my watching me and they started picking up and then they started messing with more of my music. Fire. Like, I've been like been burning it down. Like even when you you go see my sway in the morning freestyles, mm-hmm. um, stuff like that, man. You know, so this is what I do, man. Uh, it's no point. I'm I'm a rap renaissance guy. It's, it's nothing in rap that I can't do. Like I could move through anything in rap, you know. Oh, a real rap guy. Nice. I could go through any type of rapping that got to do with rapping, freestyling. If we battling, we could do yeah. it. If you making music, we could do it. If we yeah. ciphering, we could do it. It ain't yeah. too many people that that I feel messing with me, and I'm willing to prove it. Like you know, yeah. what people be like, like like people be like, yo, you're not messing with me, but. They ain't willing to prove it. Like, all right, battle me then. You know what I'm saying? All right, you feel like you better cipher me? I'll cipher me. All right, you can rap, be- rap better than me. Make a better song. That, you know, I'm willing to put it on the line. You know? That's fire. Tell me, what what? because what, what you're saying there is absolutely, for discipline in, a discipline in rap and hip-hop, that should just be like in the. That should be in the brochure. Oh, yeah, you wanna... I, from where I'm from, that you gotta have that. Like, but yeah. that that's not right now. They're not making that necessary for MC. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but I feel like I gotta have it all, man. You know? Yeah. You know, I gotta have it all. But I I, I love your tenacity, and I love the fact that all this time. You know, I think Quarantuna, I, I feel maybe it represents not just musically, but you you and the situation of rap is like when everyone's in quarantine, there's a level playing field here. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? yeah. yeah, exactly. It's not like battling. We're now on yeah. a flat surface. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 every resource that I had, I put it together. Who, yeah. who could work now when when nothing when, when oh you don't got a label that could because ain't no shows around who could work now yeah with, where's your crowd now Let's yeah go. When, could you still rap yeah people sitting down and listen they need to be entertained can you entertain them now hmm that's what core two came in man that's real talk mm-hmm. real talk because I I speak to DJs as well and it's like all of a sudden they start playing the tunes they want to spin. Rather than what they have to, mm-hmm. 
And it's the same, pro- I think it's the same, it's the same quality control that is now being put into battle raps, into making your music, into recording stuff. Um, you have more time to care about the things that you love and fight and, and narrow your audience to a, right. to a, you know, to a quality, you know? Right. The crazy time. It's a, a, but it's also a very creative time, isn't it? Yeah, very creative time, man. Like, man, I, I just didn't want to, like, man, I just, like, all this, like, COVID and stuff, man, you got to keep your mind on something something else, man. You know, it, it's almost like you, we can't figure this this out. This is, this, this isn't, you know, this isn't in our hands. You know, I, I put it in God's hands and I, and I went to do God's work and I feel like he blessed me with the talent to rap. So, um, yeah. I, I put all my attention into that and, and I feel like this is what can, this is what's coming out of it. And, and I've developed a new style since then. I see things a little better, you know, me and mm. Bazaar from D12, we got this workout show we've been working on, man. I've lost 44 pounds in one month. Like, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, that's fire. Yeah, yeah. Yo, 44 pounds in you? one month, man. I've been eating good, man, breathing better. My mm. energy been up, you know, and I and like I say, man, this big T right here can't battle anybody. You gotta yeah. be, you gotta be special because I special I feel like especially killing somebody very bad right now. Like even in training, you know like I mean? on some yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like I want to kill somebody, but you gotta be somebody. Like I, I wanna make I wanna make an example out of somebody. Mm. A big example, you know. Mm. So my next opponent ain't gonna be anybody. So it's like it's that like Tyson coming out ret- not retirement, but Tyson coming back into the ring. This yeah, is like- coming back, just go, go ahead and make an example. But this time, like now, nah, this Tyson coming back in the ring ready to knock look in a fight somebody that's relevant and knock them out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I, I ain't fighting no old Roy Jones. I'm trying to yeah, knock yeah. out who you feel is hot now, you know? Exactly. Because they still, you know, this is a game of the wits. And I've done more and I've seen more. And I feel like can't do nothing with me. You feel like you just said that and that, that just triggered me to something that I was coming to a little earlier on. Battle of wits. It takes a lot of education to be a good MC, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It well, yeah, lot. no, yeah, no. Some people could be smart, but some people could just um, do it enough, and you know. But I, I feel like it takes. Um, I, I feel like you'll be a better MC if you are a little more smarter. You know more words, or like, like, yeah. like that's an advantage. It's never a disadvantage to be smarter if you're yeah. a rapper. You know what oh, I really? mean? Like, even yeah. my parents, they went to college. You know what I mean? Like, so. Mm. Um, th- I just so happened to kind of like, you know, run into like went the other, had a different path. But mm-hmm. with that being said, they were always smart and they were talking to me with the proper, you know, with the, with the right way to talk to me, you know? Yeah. And, you know, like, you know, I, I, I remember telling me like, I didn't baby talk, you, you know, yeah. I, I, I talked to you, you know? So with yeah. that, my words and my, my, my vocabulary stretched a little farther, I think, than certain people. Do you think, um, Without getting too, uh, uh, yeah, without going down any kind of uh, social commentary rote. And I also, I don't want this to appear that I'm, you know, I'm in any way insinuating the, the rap battle genre is going down this way. But, but in terms of like m- modern, well, young people and the way that, the, the way that, that, do you think, do you think there's enough intellectual property coming into genres like rap battle? that would weigh is there a golden era in url rap battle and do you think that there's enough like education for instance being one of the key factors mm. that will bring more intellectual battle rappers in in this generation Into it. um yeah um well have i said that right am i making sense um you saying it enough where I, where I could think where i could try to translate it because <laughs> I'm um, trying, I'm, about, I'm treading on eggshells here. Era of battle rap, yeah. And is it enough people that raps kind of on a smart level that yeah. will make another smart generation of battle rap? There you go. <laughs> is that what you were saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of intelligent people. Man, Mook went to college. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of like so. In in order to even keep up with Mook, you got to have a certain intelligence. You yes. know, so gotcha. and if 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 that guy's inspired, loaded lux. Look at in order to 
keep up with Lux, you got to have a certain intelligence. There's yes, people so. that inspire to be beloved and dot be died. And yeah, it's a lot of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spe- so you're, you're definitely now, yeah. even with punchline and take a certain intelligence. Like you okay. got to know some of the, of the reference to even get the punchlines. Yeah. It's almost like the intelligence level is going. Mm-hmm. And you've got to stay on top of the game. And then going back to what we were saying before about being immersed in the scene before, you know, stepping into the to the room and not being actually up to speed with what's going on. It can seem like a train coming at you, can't it? Yeah, yeah. And then that's what I'm saying. Go ahead. People watch Body. If they never seen battle rapping and they kind of want to know what they mean by punchlines, Body got like a scene um, in the beginning of it that kind of explains to people that what what's the metal? What's a what's a gun rhyme? What's a, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if y'all want like a early, like a quick tutoring session, if y'all don't understand the battle rap, the street culture, the battle rap scene, and go, go see Body, just the beginning of it. You'll see it's it's like a level one stepping format of it, if I can say. The DNA, the, the seminal, the, the yeah. precursor. Wow. Oh, yeah. Fire. Mm-hmm. Fire. So, let's just wrap it up. What's your mm-hmm. favorite battle? What's your favorite battle you've had? My favorite battle I had was... um. Um, I say I always like say a learning experience. Me and Hollow the Dunn, I feel like I learned mm. a lot from that battle. I feel like he got me, but that was my favorite battle of being in. Where I mm. feel like, dang, I can't quite figure this dude out. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. He, oh, damn, he witty. Like, all right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, that probably was my favorite one. Um, my, I, I like me and Danger Zone a lot. I like me and Surf Battle. Love me and hit man. I, 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 it's a cop, man. I don't know. I got a lot. I, I, I and it, one thing I do, what people don't know, I don't really watch my battles. Like I kind of battle and let it go, like because I want to keep making them, and I don't want to harbor on the on the last performance. I want to beat the next. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I want to beat the next performance without even, not just beat it. Ha- make my next performance have its own lane. Yeah. So one yeah. day I'm going to actually go back and watch all these battles as a fan one day. Oh, for real? Yeah, 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 I've, yeah. I haven't seen a lot of battles. Any battle that's been on the URL TV app, I haven't seen. I want to know what your big tier is. Like, if you, whether, you know, if you've got like the uh, URL rap battle equivocal of a record collection and you're looking at these individual people, there's a, as a fan, there's a there's a space there which is big T, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's your big T? Who's who's your who's your who's the one I like the most? Yeah. I like the one that battles shotgun should. You know, um, but Big T battle shotgun should. He was um, you know, the, like they hated him and he didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's you see what I'm saying? I do. Uh, y'all forgot. Oh, y'all hmm. forgot. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just saying it's kind of like, y'all, uh, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah. I liked it that Big T. That's that was he was funny to me. I like the danger zone Big T was ruthless. Ruthless, yeah. <laughs> Stump him. <laughs> Cut his throat. <laughs> the Sue Surf Big T was um well calculated. Ooh. Put together and ruthless. It, it's nothing you could do when I'm that guy. That have you guy. ever had? Have you ever had any battles that com- that combine all three in your mind? All three of those different examples, the, the definitive big T moment. Where it's like, where well, you got all three of those, man. Yeah, that, that, that sound. That's um. That's a tough one, I, right? I don't think I, I. I can't honestly say I've reached where I had all three of that at the same thing. Well, I, I'd be cocky, but I'd probably uh, beat the person, but I wouldn't be as prepared. But I mm. still have enough to beat them. But mm. then it'll be one where I'm super prepared, but I won't, you know, like, it'll be something missing out of those three type of guys. Like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it was one performance where I just had them. Boom, um, together. K-Shine round one was tough like that. He that's probably an example where all of that was one. Right. Battle K Shine. Well, you yeah, know, and that 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 one that that round 
is seminal, you know? Mm-hmm. There's a few moments that stick out in Rap Bowl. You and K Shine definitely that that stands out exceptionally to me. Mm-hmm. Bo can you imagine when it's like you've got all three? I think maybe that's the zeitgeist. Maybe that is what every artist looks for, isn't it? They just look for the that perfect storm. Mm-hmm. With everything, and that's what I'm on right now, man. With get everything aligned right now. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm just not battling anybody willy nilly. When I was with NWX, we battled back to back. I was with a run and gun team. We was a run and gun team. Now when I'm just big, I'm battling this big T, big tuna for Chicago. Mm-hmm. I just can't battle anybody. It's more, it's more of a, a you know, these count. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. yeah. And, and then you got to come right if I'm rapping against you, like, because yeah. I'm going to come to kill you right now. Not th- th- right. right. And, I, and I can't just give this battle to anybody. You got to be somebody like, I got to make an example of somebody like Pat Stay or something. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 like yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I admire... I admire battle rappers so much. And to even have a strong, steady, and m- mutually awesome conversation with you, Big T, it's been a fucking mm. pleasure, brother. I appreciate that, man. This conversation was good energy, man. I, um, and Because I always love the UK, man. I always... I always did, man. I always show love out there. And, and any time I come out there, it's a good experience. Blessings, my brother. And listen, mm-hmm. guys, if you want to check out Quarantuna, any of the Apple Spotify tracks that's going on right now, Big T inside the place, you know the Instagram, you know what it do. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, my brother. You're a star. Keep on shining. Appreciate you, bro. Get some sleep, man. I know it's late over there. I'm about to go outside. <laughs> Actually, hold tight, hold tight one second now because I've got a couple more things afterwards, but we're going to sign off. We're signing off. Big okay. T, you're a star. Thank you so much, my brother. Appreciate that, man. Stay lucky. Killer Killer Podcast. Out like it was out of fashion. More on the way. Don't forget to share. Stay lucky. Peace.